Do you know what time it is? It is time for us to talk about time. Ah, you must mean we'll be talking about the use of clocks during the Renaissance. Of course. While no one knows who invented the first clock, we do know the Arab lands were using sundials somewhere between the year 700 and 1000. But sundials are not very accurate. No, and the Arabs knew this. They knew that because of the motion of the earth around the sun during the year, the length of daylight varied. Of course, I guess a sundial is better than nothing. True, but there had to be something more accurate. This is a model of a Chinese water clock from somewhere around the 9th century. Because it ran on water power, it could accurately record time in equal segments. Yes, it's far more accurate than a sundial. And it's believed that this technology allowed Pope Sylvester II to build Europe's first mechanical clock somewhere around the year 1000. It is interesting to note that the English, French, and German words for clock all originated from the term for bells. Yes. That's because churches and monasteries used bells to mark the times during the day for services. These approximate times were fine for rural people. They were working in the fields and that was all they needed, but people in the cities needed more. Buying and selling goods caused city people to begin to quantify time. Well, they say time is money and city people needed an accurate measurement of hours to fix the working day and workers' wages. Large mechanical clocks were usually installed on cathedral or church towers, as we see here. Clocks seemed to be common in Italy by the early 1300s. They were in general use in Germany by the 1330s. And we have records of their use in England by the 1370s and in France a decade later. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I think it's time for us to leave.